Silver Tempest releases on November the 11th, but I've got my hands on a booster box over a week early, and I can't explain it, but I've got a feeling deep down in my plums that there's an alt art Lugia waiting for us. Before we rip it open, I'll let you know I'm giving away a Charizard Ultra Premium Collection to one lucky winner. But wait, there's more. I'm also giving away two spots in the upcoming Kingdom Break number three. Lost Thunder and Silver Tempest. You get one pack of Lost Thunder and two packs of Silver Tempest. It's on 11-11 and that's the same day that the set actually releases. We're doing some serious Lugia hunting on that day and I hope you'll be there. If you want to be entered in both of those giveaways, all that you have to do is be subscribed to the channel, hit the thumbs up button for this video. Lastly, comment down below and let me know what your favorite card is that I pull today. If you want to get a second entry and better shot at winning either of those giveaways, just keep on watching and I'll let you know what to do. Also, there are still spots available for this Kingdom Break number three. I'll leave a link in the description. Check it out. It's a great price and it's going to be an even crazier break than we've had before. And I'm saying that as somebody who pulled a Moonbryon during Kingdom Break number two. As far, I mean, we get, oh, we got a peeker. We got a peeker. But is it anything substantial? I don't know. Litleo, Timpole, Eevee, Bergmite, Cutie Fifla, baby. Oh my god! But let's get started on the first pack here. I'm excited about this set. I know a lot of you guys are as well. It's an amazing, amazing set. Uh, I have not pulled that alt art Lugia quite yet, or even any alt art at all, actually. And I really, really want to. Really want to. Full disclosure, guys. Real quick, let me get through this first pack, and I'll let you know a little bit of a secret. Just a little secret. Let's see what we got here. Fungus and a Hisuian Arcanine V right off the bat. The secret is that I indeed had a sealed booster box of Silver Tempest. You notice that was unsealed? I'm just going to be honest here. I accidentally recorded half of that video without actually recording. I don't know how to explain it. I paused my video to run upstairs. I came back down. I hit the unpause button, but for some reason none of it recorded. <laughs> Little embarrassing, I know. These are actually from Build and Battle Boxes. Uh, I mean, they've, it's 36 packs, so the rates won't be much different, but I do have Silver Tempest coming in very, very shortly. Should be by the end of the week, so I'll get a real booster box opening. <laughs> Please forgive me. We got Togedemaru Reverse and Alolan Vulpix V. Super embarrassing, I know, and I wasn't trying to mislead anybody with the title. I mean, it's 36 packs. That's a, just as many as a booster box, um, but nevertheless, I somehow do not have any of that footage. Now, the hits were pretty good, I won't lie to you. The pull rates seem pretty decent. Alt arts, though, are kind of tough. We've got nothing. I hope you'll cut me some slack, as I definitely could have gone the entire video without saying anything, but I realize that when we're dealing with booster boxes, we're dealing with pull rates, and I don't want you to be misled by whatever I end up getting in this opening. Uh, who knows, we could get better, we could get worse in your typical uh, booster box. We have a Dragapult Alo. Honestly, I've had that happen to me maybe like once or twice. Every once in a while, my microphone will get disconnected as well. And that's always terrible. <laughs> Videos with no sound. It's just one of those things. You got to be like double, triple checking everything whenever you do opening. Seriously. Vulpix Reverse and a Reggie Drago V-Star. I haven't seen this yet. I honestly didn't know that it was in the set. But that is really freaking cool. Pretty strong so far. I'm... Wondering if we're gonna keep getting hits or if it's gonna slow down um, With the build in battle kits honestly the potential is there for you to do completely butthole or to do like really really good if you get lucky uh, I had a lot of hits when I opened it over on my twitch channel. Uh, it's a pretty good set I really really like this one. We have nothing here biggest difference I've noticed between this and lost origin is the quality control they seem to have somewhat improved it. How they perfected it, no. But they have definitely done a bit better this time around. Because uh, Lost Origin was a great set. Ooh, we got a Radiant Jirachi. Very nice. Followed by Non-Hollow Zeraora. They're never going to really perfect it, I don't think. But at least it seems like they took uh, note of the bad quality for Lost Origin. Lost Origin really was a great set that, in my personal opinion, was ruined with bad quality. I mean, you had trainer galleries that were cut with sporks. 
It's the sharpest object that was cut in those things, I'll tell you that much. Uh, we got a Halucha Reverse and an Archeops Hollow. The centering for those cards in Lost Origin was completely egregious. Like, oh my god. I have all of the alts, uh, including some dupes, but only one that really could hit a PSA 10. <sighs> I just don't know about it, you know? You, you drop a lot of money hunting those alts. You expect them to be good enough quality to at least get a 9 pack fresh, but I don't think they would get a 9. I don't think my Aerodactyl would, that's for sure. We got Noivern Non-Hollow. I will say that I have pulled a total of... Just a, a, I don't know. I don't know the total. I pulled a lot of cards. I, I did a huge opening during my uh, during my two year stream anniversary last weekend over on Twitch. Gave away a bunch of stuff, and I did some uh, pack opening for Silver Tempest. And I had a ton of packs I went through. Not a single alt. Got a lot of nice stuff. Got like multiple gold, multiple rainbows, some full arts. Did very very well. Uh, and then started getting some duplicates as well, but I don't even think I scratched the surface. Uh, there's a lot of trainer galleries in this one. I mean, I, I don't know, is it 30 still? But it, it didn't. It felt like I had a ton, but I it was missing a lot. <laughs> so I don't know, it seems like a pretty big set. We've got uh, <laughs> another Reggie Drago V-Star. That's how you can tell it definitely is not from a booster box, because that the likelihood of that happening in a booster box is pretty low. Not impossible. But low. I, I actually have seen it. The uh, actual booster box I opened had, you know what? It might have had two Alolan Vulpix uh, V stars actually. So it, 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 that is happening with this set. That was an actual booster box. Uh, of course, this is the. Uh, oh, we got the Jinx Trainer Gallery. Cool. I don't think I have this yet, and nothing behind it. This is, of course, a bunch of build and battle kits that I opened uh, 36 packs worth. So nine of them, uh, just to kind of get the same feeling as a booster box, even though it's a little different. We, we all know that. We got a Pharaoh Seed, a Slurp Buff Reverse, and nothing. Overall, though, I'm pretty hyped about this set. I really, really want to get that Lugia ult. Uh, and I kind of feel like if I do get it, there's a high chance it's going to be good quality, because a lot of the full arts I've seen, a lot of the um, rarer cards actually have better quality, better centering than what we saw with Lost Origin, which was just despicable, in my opinion. Um, so it, it gives me some hope again, honestly. Oh, we got the Swordward and Shieldbert uh, trainer gallery, it looks like. That's pretty cool. You know, the centering on here is pretty good. You don't see that weird cut, that choppy cut that they had with uh, Lost Origin. It, it's just an improvement overall. I feel like we have a lot of hits. This is probably a lot more than you would get from a booster box. I'm actually kind of surprised. I mean, it could slow down. Very, very easily this could slow down uh, at any point because it's completely random. Uh, we got Emergency Jelly, just in case, and a Talon Flame. But yeah, let me know how you guys are feeling about Silver Tempest. Are you excited about it? Is it one you're going to skip? Just let me know how you're feeling in the comments. I would love to hear from you. Um, I really love this set so far. I want to see some more of it. I'm definitely ready. We got another Alolan Vulpix getting some serious duplicates here. And again, like your, your regular booster box, you probably aren't going to get very many duplicates as far as Ultra Rares go. But it is, it's possible. It is possible. I've seen it happen before. Uh, more so with Japanese boxes, honestly. I get a handful of duplicates usually in those. Um, but it happens in the English set as well. We got a nice look at Ninetales Reverse and Hisui and Lilligant Non-Hollow. Overall, pretty uh, happy with how things are going so far. I'd like to get something a little bit more rare. I'd love to get an alt art. I'm kind of feeling it, though. Like I feel like there's something in store. There's got to be, right? We have a Duosian Reverse and a Frostless, non-hollow. There are quite a bit, I would say, uh, <laughs> full art waifus in this set. So I feel like this is a good set to pick up. I mean, even if you keep it sealed, I think it's going to do pretty well long term, honestly. I, I, it's got a lot of great cards in it. We got a Brakeson Reverse and a Forest Seal Stone, like a V-Star Hollow Trainer. Uh, it's interesting. It's a new thing they're introducing. I don't know a whole lot about it, but it, it, it's pretty cool. I think we're about halfway, or maybe uh, one pack into halfway. Overall, pretty strong opening. I can't recall how many hits I got out of my actual booster box, but it was actually very good as well. It was really, really good. This many, I'm not sure, but at the same time, this could easily slow down for us like any like second. You know, this could easily easily slow down. I hope it doesn't. <laughs> I really hope it doesn't. I know there's not going to be anything in there, so we might as well just skip the uh, going through all the cards. Alright, let's see what 
else we have, man? I really want an alt art. I'll tell you, uh, it, it seems tough. I, I know people have pulled the alts, but uh, ooh, we got the friends in Galar. This is one of the trainer galleries that I really, really wanted that I was not yet able to pull. Not quite a PSA 10 material one. That's a little disappointing. But nevertheless, that's awesome. You got Hop, you got Marnie, Gloria, and a couple other people that I can't recall their name. Is that Beeve or something like that? I'm not sure. Nothing behind it. I have this in Japanese, and uh, it was a really expensive Japanese card, but I wonder, and I'm, I'm probably assuming because they released it in English, that price is going to go down. So it kind of sucks for anyone that was holding on to it in hopes that it wasn't going to be uh, it printed in English, that it would be a Japanese exclusive. We got the Dene Reverse and an Aradios Hollow. Typically, Japanese exclusives are pretty expensive, especially if they're, you know, like a Friends and Galler, feature a lot of popular characters and stuff like that. Um, but unfortunately, and or rather fortunately, depending on which side of the aisle you're on, they printed it in English. We got Zygarde Reverse and a Crocodile Hollow. I was pretty indifferent about it. My Japanese Friends and Galler was not even near PSA 10 material. Um, otherwise, I definitely would have gotten it graded. But, you know, it is how it is. Uh, typically, uh, they're going to print popular cards like that. It's very rare. They do have Japanese exclusives, I feel like. We got Petalil and then an Earth and Seal Stone. I actually haven't seen this one yet. Build and battle kits seem a little cracked. <laughs> Quite a lot of hits that we've been getting here. Um, and it just keeps coming. Just keeps coming. So, not a good representation of a real booster box, but like I said, guys, I promise you, I got some coming soon as well. We got Glalie and a Chestnut V. A lot of hits, but where is that alt art hiding, man? Little freaked out about the pool rates for alts, uh, at least with the bash that I was given. Let's see here. We got a Swablu reverse and nothing. Like, surely, surely, it's not this hard. To pull and all, right? I mean, I, I went through a lot. I went through a lot during the uh, my, my stream over the weekend, guys. Not just counting like what we're doing here. This is uh, I got my hands on quite a bit of it, uh, and I just wasn't able to pull an alt. Alts are by no means easy to pull, uh, but for my personal experience, this is the most packs I've ever opened ever without pulling an alt art in a new set. I usually get it even during pre-release. I usually get one during pre-release. Uh, I keep skipping packs for some reason. We got a Feeboss Reverse and an Archeops Hollow. All right, we still got a good amount of packs left. Let's find out what's left for us. Is it going to slow down a little bit? Are we going to keep getting hits? It's anyone's guess. Nothing's guaranteed. Nothing here. So far, 10 hits. Uh, honestly, with the amount of packs we have left, we have a decent chunk of packs left, but I'd be curious to see if it ends up being the same as a uh, for a booster box because you know i think lately the sets you can expect about like 13 to maybe 18 tops like ultra rares and above or including the trainer gallery of course we got snow run and nothing so it might end up being about the same we'll find out here very soon i really do enjoy this set though i'm excited about it we got a reverse gardevoir very nice and a miss magius non-hollow the alt arts of the set Besides the Lugia, obviously, I'm a, I am don't know. I'm a little underwhelmed. We'll see. We'll see when we actually get a real look at them, how they, uh, I'll, I'll decide if I like them then. I always have to see that stuff in person, but Skunk Tank, I, I, it's a nice looking art for what it is, but it's an interesting choice of Pokemon, I would say. Uh, the Unknown is pretty cool. Uh, and, uh, ooh, that was a weird glitch. We got a Beldum Reverse. And a Rainbow Mawile V-Star. That is pretty sick. Definitely a little off-center, but it's pretty dope. For me, obviously, Heistuian Arcanine is the obvious, the obvious alt art uh, candidate. Uh, I'm surprised they didn't do that. Uh, it's like one of the more popular Pokemon, I would say, from Legends Arceus. Uh, I'm also surprised that Heistuian Braviary never got anything. Besides, uh, just like, I don't even know if he has a Hollow or not. I can't remember. Oh, we have the Radiant Alakazam, definitely the best Radiant in the set, and a Hollow Rapidash. The Japanese Radiants usually look better, uh, and it probably still does look better, like that purple and silver. But the purple and yellow, especially considering he's purple and yellow, actually looks really good for Radiant Alakazam. I have to say, with the Psychic types, the Radiants in English do not look that bad at all. 
Even blue or like wa water types wouldn't look bad. All right, let's see what else we have. Anything? Love to get that alt, man. We got an Archops Reverse and another Hyserian Arcanine. Two more packs. Can we pull that alt? We are about to see. We are about to see the truth <laughs> about this particular 36 packs. I really want one, man. We got Dreepy Reverse and a Keldeo Non-Hollow. We got one more pack. You know, honestly, I have, uh, and what was it, Lost Origin uh, opening. I actually pulled in the last pack, I pulled an Altart. So it would be fitting, would be fitting. I see a little bit of a peeker. You might have seen it as well, but I feel like it's some kind of V-Star. We got Smeargle Reverse and an unknown V-Star. No alt art, but we did pretty freaking awesome, I would say. We got two of the Vulpix, we have a Chestnut, two Arcanines, uh, the Unknown V-Star, two Reggie Drago V-Stars, the Jinx Trainer Gallery. I hadn't seen this one yet. That's pretty uh, good for what it is, I guess. Uh, Radiant Alakazam, Radiant Jirachi, both great Radiants. The, the better of the two, uh, three, I'd say. These, those two are. Swordward and Shieldbert. The weirdos they are, it's still kind of cool. We got a Friends and Galar, and then a Mewile V-Star. Pretty awesome. Honestly, the number of hits, pretty consistent, maybe, with what you would find in a booster box. The only difference, I'd say, is you probably would expect at least a full art, uh, as well as that rainbow in a typical booster box. So we might have actually done worse. I will tell you, for a matter of fact, I did better in the actual booster box opening. <laughs> I just, unfortunately, lost the recording. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for today. If you want to get that second entry I was talking about, just let me know what your chase card is for the set. And don't forget to be subscribed and hit the like button for this video as well to be entered in the giveaway. I mentioned at the beginning what the first entry requires, so just do those things for me. You'll have up to two entries if you do both. You can follow me over on Twitch. That's where I do most of my content. I stream now on Friday, Saturdays, and Sundays for the time being. And on Saturday, we do Rip and Chips. I have some amazing pools I've been getting for people. Pretty much, it doesn't go... I don't think we've gone a stream without pulling an alt art for somebody. It's pretty wild. And don't forget about Kingdom Break number 3 coming up on November the 11th on the Silver Tempest release date. Two packs of Silver Tempest, one pack of Lost Thunder. You don't want to miss it. You can follow my Instagram and my Twitter as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time. Stay amazing.